Hey guys, hello and welcome. This is Rachana here, and I hope you all are doing good. So today I have very easy and beautiful project to share with you all. So oh, let's get started. So first thing first is priming. So for that I have used Emix Black Gesso, and yes, priming is very important when it comes to mixed media as we use lot of other things to build the project like chippies, resin embellishment, and material embellishment, and so on. So priming makes it ready to accept the medium over it. And also Emix have three varieties of uh, gesso like black gesso, white gesso, and clear gesso. So yeah, uh, once my basic priming is done, I use stencil and texture paste from the Emix, and uh, I also added some crackle texture paste here uh, to give that you know crackle effect as well. So for adding the texture paste, I use palette knife uh, and stencil, and I just. Uh, added a uh, texture paste using a uh, palette knife through the stencil to create this beautiful stencil pattern on the project okay and i also added crackle texture paste as i said so for crackle texture paste i use a uh, palette knife directly uh, uh, you know directly on the project so that way you will get very nice crackle effect you can use stencil as well but i like uh, to you know use my crackle texture paste directly uh, I mean I like to apply it directly uh, using palette knife and again uh, Emix have varieties of texture paste to choose from like ground texture paste uh, ground texture paste itself have four to five varieties of paste and then uh, we have crackle texture paste as well and uh, also crackle paste I mean crackle effect is depend on the application of the paste so you can see like uh, you know once my um, application is done uh, you can see how beautiful crackle effect I got here So when I was building layers on this MDF base, I absolutely had no idea like what will be seen in the final of uh, like uh, in the final project. So yeah, that's how it is. Next, I uh, took chipboard embellishment from the expressions craft, and I just thought that these chippies will go perfect for the theme that is a uh, spring of the joy. And to paste my uh, chippy uh, chipboard embellishment, I use heavy gel medium. I always like to use heavy gel medium uh, when I'm uh, when I'm creating mixed media projects. So heavy gel medium holds your uh, embellishment very nicely on the project. pasted those chippies i again cover it using black gesso and uh, yeah you can uh, do like you know add everything on the project uh, that you want and uh, then you can cover it using uh, gesso but i like to add a prime uh, my project step by step uh, as i just feel that that way uh, we have complete coverage of the project i mean on the project Uh, next I also added a resin embellishment just to add more 3d look to the project also my uh, chippies had numbers in it so I thought this uh, you know Roman number resin embellishment will go very well with the composition and uh, you know to fill, fulfill the composition I also added some broken embellishment and then some resin leaves and flat back pebbles and also deco stone to create that more interesting look and once I am happy with the composition then I uh, created space uh, for my focal point and for that I use a uh, mini MDF circle.
as you can see here for the focal i choose this beautiful and delicate chipboard embellishments from the expressions craft and once i'm happy with uh, you know all my composition and everything i have covered them using black gesso color my project i use this vibrant color shades from emix chalk paint again i would like to tell you that emix have wide range of chalk paints uh, to choose from and here i have uh, chosen first two dark shades uh, that is military brown and classic burgundy and i have uh, applied chalk paint using sponge brush as you can see here because i feel that way you will get very nice effect on the uh, project so firstly i added dark shades and to enhance the texture or you know to highlight it more uh, i applied lighter shade so that's how you can play with the color so basically first you need to add darker shade and then lighter shade with the uh, color shades of the project then uh, to add more shine and enhance it more i added uh, a mix metallic paint uh, using dry brush technique so in dry brush uh, you have i mean your brush should be completely dry and you should take very little amount of paint on your brush bristles and then you can apply it using light pressure that my project is finished but i was just feeling that something is missing so i went ahead and added a mix glitter paste joy of spring and that's what our theme is for this month so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this process as much as i enjoy creating this project and i will be back with another project soon till then bye bye take care and happy creating